All right, motorcycle fans, we're back at Silver Dollar, Reynolds, Georgia. The lanes are full. We're gonna go around and find some of the coolest bikes we can, and guess what? We got a motocross race going on over there. That's Chad Reed's motorhome. That's right, they're all here. Sit back, relax. If you love two wheels, you're gonna love this video. Welcome everybody to a beautiful day here at Silver Dollar Motorsports Park, Reynolds, Georgia. It's the grand finale of Hogs Gone Wild and we are always on a quest to show you the most impressive, coolest motorcycles we can find. Let's get to it. Well, Mike, here's something we didn't expect. You on a brand new motorcycle and you're flying, you're running the eights. Tell me about this bike. Where did it come from? Uh, it's Rob Morosa's bike from New England. Uh, he had it up for sale. He rode around on the street for three years. It's a 143 crate motor with a bunch of nitrous and a max ECU on it. Uh, it weighed 1,015 with me on it and full weight street bike and I was going 970s. So uh, I got challenged to race Dwayne. I know he goes 920s. So we took it in the shop, took 175 pounds off it, freshened the motor up. And we ran uh, 886 off the trailer yesterday. Amazing, how were you able to subtract 175 pounds? Carbon fiber, Japanese parts, lightweight wheels, lots of carbon fiber. <laughs> uh, DTF performance to the carbon fiber for me, that's awesome. How expensive was that? Uh, they actually helped me out, so. Beautiful. How, how, does it, how much does it cost to go fast, man? It, it, you, don't even, you don't even think about that. I love it. And finally, what's it like riding this motorcycle compared to some of the others that you've Well, this is a max ECU bike, so it is a wide open throttle and throw the clutch away. It does everything for you. As long as your clutch is set up properly and the engine is set up properly in the max ECU, it shifts the bike for you and just hang on, get in the tuck. Good luck. Thanks, buddy. Hey, listen. I thought about the races today, but Jack never sit around and talk to me. And these guys right here. The one to put the work yeah, in. Yeah, us, us, us hard working men. Making sure everybody's following the rules. We don't got a bike. Oh, yeah. Hey, watch out. We don't got a dog in the fight. We're just making sure that the dog's evenly matched. Yeah. Because I got some tricks for him today, baby. Half inch short, right? Yeah. Half Good inch short. Little pre race tech. What are you working on over here? Uh, I'm trying to get this rubber grommet in so I can get this side panel on right. Well, this oh, is an important part of the race right here, guys. Tech, they're checking for ground clearance, weight, keeping all these guys on point, right? Oh, right. yeah. There Gotta are sure rules. On same this is very different than street racing. There are rules that have to be followed. And guys, how cool is this? Silver Dollar Motorsports Park also has a motocross track, a stone's throw away from the drag strip, and we have two events running at once. I love it, sensory overload. I told you, if it's two wheels, we love it. We love MX bikes and everything else. Also heard Chad Reed's on the property. How about that? Let's go take a walk around. We'll give you a quick tour. Stay with us all throughout this video. The drag races are about to get started. Let's see if we can find Chad Reed, the thunder from down under. There he is. Bring it up here to the How great is that? I know, it's great. Isn't that great when a legend like that shows up at a small hometown race? How about that? Well, we're going to zero in on Drew Adams, too. He's out on the track on an 85cc machine. Remember that name because he may be on his way to becoming the next Ricky Carmichael or Jeremy McGrath or Chad Reed. Watch this kid. Is that crazy or what? That's Drew Adams on an 85. Faster than I've ever gone in my life on any big bike. The style, the technique, that kid is going places. Wow, Drew Adams. Drag racers are getting ready to go. And look at how close the two tracks are. Let's catch up with the dirt track promoter. And we've got our resident pro, our training expert, Matt Walker. Matt, how great is this? We got Harleys over here, motocross over yeah. here. If you love motorcycles, sensory overload. Right? Yeah, it's just, it doesn't get any better than this. You got the top uh, dirt bike track in the uh, Southeast right here at Silver Dollar. And then you also have the top drag racing track in the Southeast with a drag racing. I mean, it's just, it's hard to, it's hard to find a, uh, a better spot for racing bikes. It really is, we all love motorcycles. And your training ground, the name is? It's Moto X Compound right there in Culloden, Georgia. We're the largest training facility in the nation. We have a great track, great riders, and um, yeah, Moto X Compound. I've heard so much about it. I might need to work on my conditioning before I stop oh, by though. <laughs> Good job. 
So we got a YZ85 over here. Is this dad making sure it's prepped to perfection? Absolutely. And how much fun is this to come out here with your son? Awesome. What are you doing to the bike? Just making sure it's ready to go next time. And that process pretty much never ends, right? That's right. Wait a minute, we got Randall, the tough ZX14 racer. Are, are you interested in these dirt bikes as well? Uh, I retire from that. <laughs> it's a lot of fun though, isn't it? It hurts. Uh, it hurts, that's right. So we found your buddy over here. How do you know Andy? Uh, we did a lot of bad stuff when we was younger. Uh oh, Andy, how you doing? Do you know the legendary Randall Cross? I've known him for a long time. Oh, uh, he says you guys have gotten some trouble. Yeah, quite that, a few times. <laughs> that's okay. Well, I see you share the passion for motorcycles. It's cool you guys are both here. How much fun is this racing on this track? It's probably one of the premier tracks in Georgia, so it's a blast. Well, I wish you the best. I want to see you crack a whole shot here. And do you think you'll get a chance to check out the drag races a little bit today? Oh, yeah. I'll be over there to watch Doogie. That would be great, man. Good luck to you. Thanks. Well, the drag racers are almost ready to go, getting called to the lanes. These guys are already in their lane. Let's give you a look around this track. Maybe we can even get some Chad Reed footage in a little bit. But as for now, how about this class? This is so cool, dude. This is vet class. Guess how old you have to be to run vet class. 25. I remember when I was 16, that seemed very, very old. I was laughing with these guys. I said when I was racing, the most dangerous class was 125C because why? It was a bunch of 14 and 15 year olds that did not have to go to work the next day. So when it was a 50-50 jump or a 60-40 jump, an 80-20 jump, they would just send it and go for it all the time. That's why vet class came about. A bunch of guys that need to go to work in the morning that still want to have fun, but want to walk out of here. Oh yes, remember when 25 seemed old. How you doing, young lady? Good. Having fun? Love it, you ready to go? Yeah. Pretty cool finish line jump, but I want you to watch the way Chad Reed handles it coming up. He just seat bounces the thing. Here we go, watch the 22. Oh, 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 oh. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. The Supercross and Motocross first ballot Hall of Famer, the Iron Man, the Thunder from Down Under, showing up to sleepy Reynolds, Georgia, to have fun with his family. Let's see what he does here. Big in. What a talent. You see seat bounce that finish line the thunder from down under chad reed It'd be nice to see chad on a fast bagger wouldn't it for a chopper there's the popular chopper man ken kobe we do believe he's in championship contention this weekend he told us that's why he came down here to reynolds right now you got a sport bike alongside him kobe getting dialed in ready to go for the race later on let's get right to it here's mark frick out of chicago he's looking for an eight second run on this hot street naturally aspirated max ecu dme harley davidson Frick looking for history. The first eight second naturally aspirated bagger run. Could this be it? Top end of the racetrack. Mark, he does it. it is. There it is. There it is. Oh the first God. eight second bagger run naturally aspirated in competition. Congratulations. You, How's that feel? Awesome. Man. awesome. A lot of hard work goes into it. And here comes another legend, George Bryce, NHRA Pro Stock legend on the 100 year anniversary CBO Road King known as Buck, looking for a nine. Great launch by 67 year old Bryce. He's looking for a nine second run, top end of the racetrack. That CBO is hauling the mail. Yes, he does it. Wow. If at first you do not succeed, try, try again. Wow. Let's take a look. George, the six-time NHRA Pro Stock Motorcycle 
championship winning team owner, crossed over to the bagger world a few years back, has made a big impact, has found a lot of success, and here with Buck goes 993. Big congratulations, George Bryce. The legend's still making magic after all these years. Great job, George. Congratulations. We want to see that for many years to come. And now a Harley versus a Metric Bike ZX14 versus Bagger. We've got so many cool motorcycles to show you throughout this video. We're on a quest. We'll show you finals at the end. There is a lot to see. Stay with us all throughout this video. Left lane gets the win. What's this? Oh no, the Honda Rebel. Time to catch him. Got a new drag racer over here, and he's doing a great job learning his way through the process. Keep it up. Well, it's not hard to do that. It's a finesse game. And that's another great thing about the sport, guys. You can drag race on anything as long as it's safe and you have your proper safety gear. And if you're new, like that rider, come out to one of these events. Take your time, go slow. Leave just like you're leaving a stoplight. Next thing you know, you could be out here winning races. I've seen people advance very quickly. I've seen people go from afraid of the bike, not sure what they're doing. Five, six races later, they're turning on wind lights. It can happen to you. Come join us. Comment down below if you need help getting started. Kawasaki Nation. I'll tell you what, we got some amazing drag bikes on the property. Let's give you a tour. We're on that quest. There's Chad Reed's motorhome. He's got a good view too. And you know we're gonna see a lot of Hayabusa, especially T-Bone. Larry on the old school Harley, gotta love that. Christopher Davis, chop throttle. Chop throttle motorsports. The gangster with the delay box, Casey. Are there any other delay box bikes here to play with? Boos has gone wild, brother. Boos has gone wild. Hi, Hey, Natalie, is that you? Stand the man's ready to roll. Love it. Ric Flair Boosa gonna go some rounds today? Absolutely. It is. The Rolex wearing, diamond ring wearing, kiss stealing, willing dealing, limousine riding, son of a gun. He's having a hard time holding that front wheel down. There we go. You were enjoying the dirt races earlier on, huh? Yes, I was. Now it's Boosa time. Like Beautiful. Like Gotta love the mix of motorcycles here. Baggers, sport bikes. Young riders, old riders. I love the white wheels on that Busa. It really stands out, man. I'm young. Yes, you are. <laughs> I want to know in the comments, too, what's your favorite motorcycle and why? Are you Busa Nation? Are you ZX14? Harley? What do they like? That's for sure. I know we got Busa Nation over here. Gorgeous Harley Davidson. Even the Honda Rebel. Don't count out this Rebel. It could turn on some wind lights. Usher Racing. And one that so many like, the world famous Ken Kobe Chopper. The only man bold enough to drag race a chopper. Why a chopper, Ken? Well, because I love it. I, I can toe shift off my ear, shifting like grandpa. I love the competition. When it's a bracket race, it's anybody's game. So I don't have to, I'll be the slowest guy on the property. And I call it the gap sauce. When I got to pour that gap sauce on, and these fast guys got to sit for three, four seconds. Woo, they love the red light or breakout chasing me down. Woo. And then many of you like the Turbo Busa of Perry Paul. Chopper man, Ken Kobe, ready to get to work. He's in multiple categories. Chasing down a championship. start for Ken Kobe but we will have re-entry and he's got another opportunity in another class oh man the 
chopper man was hoping to win a championship. That could be disastrous. A red light start in round one. Yikes. Some of the street baggers must pass a road course. They'll be coming up in just a little bit, but first, let us get to a huge final involving the man himself, Joe Perry, coming up on the line. What happened? Every fucking time I come up here, watch my fridge. What happened? They cut us off. We got somebody on the track? Ask the track people, I don't know. We got computer issues, they gotta reload some typer into the computer. Well, Joe, I'm sorry, it must just be your luck. And this is a question I like to ask racers. How frustrating is it when you're ready to go, ready to race, and you gotta get put on hold? It's not frustrating at all on a water-cooled import bike, but on an old dinosaur push rod air-cooled, race bike it's very frustrating because heat to the motor is very important that's my only job well good job keeping your cool we wish you the best line back up hopefully it's not a long delay well actually are you hoping for a long delay at this point no no this is a final that's right so you're actually worried about your bike getting too cool getting too hot while it's running we already did our burnout right so the bike's already warmed up and ready to come up and then you sit here and idle and idle and then they tell you to shut down and you gotta go through the procedure. Oh, you're good to go, Joe, good luck. Good luck, Joe. Let's see, let's hope everything fires up as according to plan. I would not want to be at the end of the track right now. We're in the inside of Joe Perry's helmet. Yes. Uh, nothing intentional by the track. It's one of the unfortunate things to drag racing, but clearly that delay did not help him. That was the most inopportune time to be held up and have to shut him off. I guarantee you. And then this little bit of backing up here, getting in this little bit of debris, causing the spin out and lose. That's drag racing for you, huh? It is. It is. I've won every race I ran this weekend except the one that counted. Well, you guys keep it up. Great job. Great job, Joe. Congratulations, Jason Crisp. There's the debris, and that's why I was hoping for a longer delay where he could actually do another burnout. Here we go, guys. We're getting ready for our hot street final. Mark Frick out of Chicago. He's been in 896 on this beautiful road glide. Looking for more. Trying to win one with his lovely wife looking on, but Stanley Gardner's in the other lane. This is a road king. He's been 904. He's up for the challenge. Are you up for the challenge, Stanley? Oh, yeah. He is. Mark gonna try to keep it rolling as he's got Steve Nichols tuning from home. Team Max ECU. Mm -hmm. Good luck, guys. Alicia and Brenda calling up the numbers. Stanley Mark gonna take the win. How quick can he go? The talented racer out of Chicago down into the full tuck position. Mark 938. Mark, not sure what happened to Stanley. But congratulations. Hubby yes. does it again. Taking that win back to Chicago. Taking that win back to Chicago. Congratulations. Final here. Two talented racers. Joe Glad and Scott Thompson. We got ourselves a heck of a race. Remember, it was Tomsu who oiled down the racetrack earlier on. Glad and giving it everything he got. Tomsu, bar to bar, top and win like Tomsu. He started out the day. Hey. 
oiling down the racetrack. And he wins it. Scott Thompson, congratulations, 993. Unbelievable. What a comeback from oiling down the racetrack, a two hour delay on Cycle Drag YouTube to win in the race. Tighten that oil filter back up. Congratulations. And here is A1 Michael Beeland who gave us a tour of that motorcycle to begin the show. He's looking for a final round victory. Here we go. Whole shot right lane. But Beeland making a big move. Pass him at the eight mile mark. Can Beeland keep it up? Top end of the racetrack, wind light to Beeland. A1 Mike running like a bracket bike. 886, lots of nitrous, lots of horsepower. Congratulations, Michael Beeland, A1 Mike. Last week, he was our expert commentator. This week, he's racing. Gotta love it. Nitro Randy, bring him back. Sell him congratulations down below in the comments. I'm gonna get you one. It's the Air Jordan bike. He's got Air Jordan hands. Yeah. You racing Air Jordans? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Air Jordan over here. Jordan gets out of the groove and spins a little bit. That's not going to help DT. Well, guys, he did red light, but still gets the wind light. Uh-oh. The Jordan, Jordan in all his power may have taken control of the scoreboard. Air Jordans are awesome. We do recommend boots, though. We might have to get him the Air Jordan motorcycle boots, just in case anything would go wrong. But pretty cool, right? A lot of great matchups coming up. 380 pound big man Stanley Russell on the Busa is on fire. Busa versus Busa. Stanley nails another hole shot. He is one top notch racer. If you think big men can't fly, think again. Well, now it's ZX14 versus ZX14. We got ourselves another fight to the finish here in 6 0. Top end, left side takes the win. Usher racing on the high boost in near lane. Usher's been cutting some impressive reaction times all day. Right side. And guys, here comes Victor Gote on the brand new Gen 3 Suzuki Hayabusa taking on a CX-14. This Gen 3 is awesome. Victor Gote, nice launch on that Gen 3 Suzuki Hayabusa. Gets it done. Right side actually sneaks in there. And I believe we have some type of grudge run coming up. Check out this wild machine. what happened there i got nothing for you i don't know what they were doing grudge race bracket race i don't know sometimes that happens on cycle track sorry guys chopper man still alive but we're hearing the organization may have changed their outlook on the championship picture and guys the drama is sky high remember this is the final points race and i do believe we have a few guys in contention for the championship ken kobe chopper man told me something about a discrepancy we'll have to get the lowdown we have a developing story excuse bad, me bad. Bad. who are you rooting for bad to bad little man i love it you got on the air jordans too how about <laughs> go get them all right so we're not totally sure what's going on with ken kobe's championship hope but we know he must keep winning to keep that slim hope alive this all comes back to a disqualification Kobe suffered at Keystone Raceway Park earlier. Kobe has since apologized, called it a mistake. 
Uh, at first, Kobe believed that he would be able to use that race as his drop. He says that's what the organization told him he could do. Now they're saying he may not be able to, so we're trying to piece everything together. But nonetheless, he needs to win, and he's got a very tough opponent. Because Usher racing has been tough. So whether you're a fan or not, you gotta respect what Kobe is able to do on a hand clutch. Toe shifting chopper, and he goes green again. Usher must wait. Oh, and that's what Kobe talked about earlier. Some of those guys don't like to wait. It's so hard. Kobe going another round gets past Usher. Well, Cycle Drag, what do you think is going on here? We know what then Ken Kobe is going to the next round. We've got championships on the line. Well, then I'm gonna come back to 3DT because I'm ready to be done. Sure. As always. Here you go, Perry. Perry. True that. Yeah, Stanley needs to be in the front because he's still double. You already had the button. Would Perry, would Perry draw? You're still double. Jesus. Nine L? Is there anybody else double besides Stanley and Mr. Fish here? Okay. Ken, so it's coming down to it. We're hearing another win. You got a chance at the championship. Is this right? Right at this moment, no comment. No I've got comment. some backstabbing. Uh, oh, no. Sore losers out there, no. and uh, so I've got a conspiracy couple guys against me. So I guess uh, they got to cry and, and complain about points. I've been told three times by not only Roger, Lashandra, everybody, that my points would stand. My my one and only. They take one point race away. That was my goose egg for Pittsburgh. Now all of a sudden, uh, I got a couple crybabies here that are sore losers that are already out. Right, I need to go one more round and I can wrap it up. And uh, I got some sore losers out there that uh, can't handle seeing me win. So the and points changed today? Evidently today, uh, uh, Roger forgets our conversation that we had in, in Tulsa the, uh, weeks after uh, the Pittsburgh race. And uh, and the story got changed three times today. I've been told, yes, my points will stand. A couple people go and complain. And all of a sudden, I guess they got uh, they got the, they got the say over it all. So. But you still do have a chance at the championship, right? No. No, no not according to these uh, two or three people. So We got a developing story here, Ken. No, we'll it, get ain't, the load. it ain't developing. It's just the way things go. So no, no other comment. No comment from the chopper man. He's going to try to win the race. We'll try to catch up with him. Uh, we got his teammate, Perry, over here. They won the championship titles earlier this year. Perry's still trying to win this race. He's doing a good job hanging tough. How's that booster running? Booster's running good. Good. How are you doing in the points? I don't have a clue, to be honest with you. I missed two of these races throughout the year, so I don't even think I'm in the hunt. So who's in line for a championship at this point? I'm not sure. I think uh, Demi is. Was Demi our point leader coming he in? He was the leader coming in. I think he's still... The two guys below him are out. Okay. Who's four? Let's get you right to the next round. Chopper man trying to outlast this fast charger right lane down at the stripe wind light going to Chopper man. Oh, the Chopper man wins again. They made him angry. They got him fired up. And when you fire up Ken Kobe, he is at his best with his back against the wall. Ken Kobe proven why he is the best chopper racer in the game today. Robert Brandt near lane, one of our favorite messages. Stop soldier suicide, 22 a day. Robert proudly waving that banner as he takes on Barry Purnell.
Tough break there for Robert Brandt. He spins, but got to love his cause. We're going to keep helping him promote it. Stop soldier suicide. He just moved from Cleveland to Lake Havasu. What a step up. So he's going to be riding a lot. We're going to see a lot more of Robert on this channel. Let's catch up with our winners. We were live on CycleDrag.com Facebook for the final. Stanley Russell coming out on top. And so did Ronnie Woodall. Well, ladies and gentlemen, his first Hogs Gone Wild race. Don't ever call out the gangster, huh? They said they won the gangster down here and you won it all. Congratulations, Ronnie Woodall. You're a bad man. Thank you, thank you. And we yeah. gotta say, we you gotta get the- a good show on too, man. It's a good race. It was, it was a great a show. Race. It was a good race, I'll be back. Let's get the runner up in here. Ladies and gentlemen, Woodall, how about this, here. man? That was awesome race, man. Yes, all right. What a final. Ken Kobe makes a toe shifting on the chopper. Is that not crazy or what? He's awesome. <laughs> You know. How red were you in the final? Uh, oh, one. Oh, man. You knew you needed to go one against the gangster. And my belt was slipping off. The, I tried to tighten it before the round, and it, it still, it's still... So. Mine was doing it, too. My leathers was... Oh, you're talking about that. <laughs> my belt. Yeah, not this belt. Yeah. Well, congratulations, yeah, you gangster. Congratulations. You've got yet another win to add to your impressive resume. You are 46. That's 246? Yes, the last one in Louisville was 245 two weeks ago. Oh my goodness. Nice. Yeah, but man, that's a lot of, you gotta figure, that's over 30 years. And a lot of them races was when I was racing at Music City Raceway, we was winning a trophy on Friday nights. So that's included in there too, you know what I mean? So they all just count. from the beginning, bro, that's, you know. They all count. Great job by both you guys, great show. And let's hear it in the comments. Congratulations to the gangster. And the old school, Kawasaki KZ. I'll tell you, for anybody out there that thinks they're too big to go motorcycle drag racing, Roger, they need look no further than 380 pounds of motorcycle drag racing talent and muscle. Big Stan, the, the man. man. Yes, Show how they say, whoop, there it is. is. <laughs> whoop, there it is. There it is. Congratulations. Well, guys, what a great night it was. What a season it was. Hogs gone wild. We saw some incredible racing. I think it's time to be quiet. Chad Reed is in his motorhome right now. We gotta let Chad Reed go to bed. Anyhow, y'all, great season. Hope you enjoyed this video. We do this all the time. Follow along. If you like that video, here's another one for you. Subscribe right in the middle. Notifications on. Be a friend. Tell a friend. From Silver Dollar Motorsports Park, Cycle Drag rolls on.